Good morning, guys. We're here today to talk about the Ultralight Idea Travel Trailer. It really is unique in many different facets. And what I'll do today is I'll share with you some of the uniqueness about this particular Ultralight Trailer that can be towed with a lot of family vehicles, SUVs, family minivans, weighs just a little over 2,000 pounds. We're going to dissect it today and tell you a little bit about the Idea Travel Trailer. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat with the idea travel trailer is that its front cap is a high gel coat finish. It's very sleek. It's not flat like a lot of travel trailers are. So it's going to pierce the wind and not give you a lot of wind drag, which will probably give you extra miles in your fuel tank. And the very nose of this here is a couple of little rubber grommets here that house the propane tank. On a traditional travel trailer, these tanks are really on the tongue. They're not behind a door, which means they're going to push a little bit of wind. This here is a little bit more aerodynamic in design, uh, not to mention it's a bit more elegant looking. A lot cleaner, a lot modern. Uh, you could even go and say it's contemporary. First thing I want to point out to you guys on this 16-foot Idea travel trailer is this awning practically spans the very front all the way to the end. That's about as large an awning as one can get. So you've got quite a bit of patio shade right here for your family and friends. The first thing I want to point out too additionally here is that this grab handle you find on much more expensive products. You don't find it on a lot of ultralight travel trailers. So this gives you a surefire grip of getting in and out of this coach without having any tripping incidents. Just a really good grab handle. Can't say enough about that. Safety getting in and out for you and your entire family. The door I'm opening here, again, a radius entrance door with a large glass to give you some indication of who might be at your door of uh, visiting while you're out there on the campsite. But again, a radius door is the strongest door the industry makes. So you see, we didn't cut any corners on this here. When they built this idea, they built it to be a top seller and one that'll last for many, 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 many years. Now, just in case you guys are wondering, all ultralight travel trailers are not the same. These ideas, again, the high gloss gel coat finish is also on the dump side of the travel trailer. I'm just going to point out some features on this side of the coach opposite the patio side. We got our city water fill here, city water connection at the campsite connection right here. This little beautiful panel here is your water heater. That gives you the entire family warm water when they need it right at your fingertips. You don't just get a generic shore power connection. Most travel trailers in this category, the 110 cord is actually hardwired inside of a wall. They went to the extra level and gave you a marine connection. So if you forgot to unplug that you know, while you're plugged in somewhere, it won't rip the entire wall out, costing you thousands of dollars. It'll just damage the connection on the outside. So marine grade connections are actually superior compared to traditional 110 cords. Right back here still, this is the refrigerator events on the back side of the unit. This here is your outside furnace, again, really good engineering. The furnace exhaust is not on the patio side, it's on the dump side. So that's probably a nicer setup right there. Just below that is your cable connection for the campsite. Now this is where it's a little different than most manufacturer ultralight trailers as well. They don't typically come equipped with an outside shower. Right behind this door here is what separates this ultralight from the majority of ultralights. An outside shower set up right here on the patio side. So if you're doing your dumping your stations here, you can get some hot water, cold water, rinse your hands off. You know, a little bit of a sanitized sort of setup here. But most ultralights do not come equipped with an outside shower. So that sets the idea light ultralight apart from the rest of the, the batch. Just behind, behind this here outside shower is your dumping station. That's where your holding tanks are connected to the campsite for you to empty your tanks out. And if you notice to the immediate right of the dump station, there are some scissor jacks. There are four scissor jacks on here for greater stability when you're inside with your family. No, this is not a mirage, guys. This is actually another sleeping area on the back of this beautiful idea ultralight travel trailer. We basically have call this type of trailer a hybrid. It's a hard-sided trailer when you don't want to use your external bed, but when you have more guests in the same size unit, 
pop this out, you now have additional sleeping. Just on the rooftop of this idea, ultralight travel trailer is a high definition antenna receiver. Most travel trailers have just a generic antenna. This is an omnidirectional. You never have to raise it and lower it, so no one will be blowing the horn saying, put your antenna down. A traditional antenna is about three feet higher than this little small unit is, so you have a little bit better clearance on this model here. Uh, this is a 16 foot trailer. Inside you'll find some features that are a little different than some ultralights like a solid surface countertop along with a very matching smooth countertop for the dinette. A little satin nickel, a little accessory handles to all the cabinet doors. Uh, this is a little bit of a cherry finish as opposed to your traditional oak. Right above my head here there's the air conditioning system. Uh, complete with a, a raised faucet with a stainless steel sink. A stainless steel two burner range. Uh, complete with a, a range hood with a fan. And just above that is your microwave. Just across from the sofa right here, there is a Dometic refrigerator that's complete with its own freezer. And unusual to this trailer, most travel trailers and RVs have a two-way uh, operation system for the refrigerator. On this model, it's a three-way. It's an AC, propane, or DC 12 volt. It's a little special than most trailers you look at. Just below down here is your furnace. To my left is a really roomy bathroom, tub, shower combination. Just above your dinette area here, which also makes into a larger bed, you'll see that there's a built-in DVD radio player that comes equipped on this particular idea travel trailer. And just above it, if you're wondering where the speakers are, there are four speakers on the ceiling here to really express that uh, sound system that's uh, standard on this particular trailer.